How we doing today guys? Want to do a little video uh, talking about fishing meat. It's uh, one of the types of fishing I get questioned about the most here at the store as a lot of guys haven't f ever fished meat before or just uh, starting in the last year or two to try it a little bit here and there. Um, and with the uh, lower numbers of kings in Lake Michigan and when the fishing can get a little bit of tough, tougher Meat uh, is definitely, in my opinion, the best way to go to try and put a few more kings in the boat. The way I always sort of look at it is, I used to walleye tournament fish with my dad. And when we walleye tournament fished, when the fish were real aggressive and we were jigging, we would use uh, plastics, maybe jigging, rip jigging spoons, things like that. But when the fish were off the feet a little bit and they were a little tougher to catch, we would use night crawlers, leeches, bait. You know, the most natural thing to the fish. Um, same thing goes for walleyes with crankbaits. When, when they're biting, you, you troll crankbaits at a little bit faster speed. When they're uh, off the feet a little bit, you slow down and troll crawler harnesses. Same thing with salmon. When, when they're biting, uh, we, can, we can catch them on spoons, flies, uh, all different kinds of stuff, plugs. But when they're off the feet a little bit and fishing's tough, meat's the way to go. Um, a lot of guys are intimidated by fishing meat. Uh, because it looks like there's a lot there and a lot going on, but don't be intimidated, there really isn't. With the, uh, with the great products made by the manufacturers today, ready to go out of the package, uh, you really just gotta hook it on and, and go. So um, this really isn't a how to fish meat video, this is a more of a, a selection video, what you need, what are some of the items that, that we use and when and why. So let's start with the uh, different size flashers and when and why we use them. We'll start with the 8 inch. This is a standard 8 inch Michigan Stinger uh, Pro Troll Flasher. Uh, this particular one's a Black Raptor. I do real good on that with meat. Um, we like to use the 8 inch when the water's cold early in the season, like this, uh, like we are now in June. Water's still under 50 degrees. Tend to use these uh, 8 inch flashers up high in the water column as well, up in the top 50 feet of the water column. And when the water is real cold uh, or cooler and the fish aren't, aren't you know, ultra aggressive yet. Um, here's the 8 inch Spin Doctor, same thing, you can use this up in that top half of the water column. Spin Doctor will work pretty well when the water gets warm as well uh, due to the style of action that it has, but I would prefer the 8 inch Spin Doctor up in the top 50 feet of the water column like I do the 8 inch Pro Troll. Um, as we get into the summer a little bit more, fish get a little bit more aggressive, they're feeding more regularly, um, water warms up, uh, then I, I like to start to get into the bigger stuff. Whenever the water is above 50 degrees down where the fish are, so if the fish are down 60, 70, 80 feet and it's over 50 degrees down there, I start to like to use the, the bigger stuff. Um, I, my, probably my favorite the last four or five seasons has been the 10 inch Spin Doctor. This one happens to be a UV Super Frog, but you know there's many different colors that we sell that work. This one is one of the ones that work good for the uh, for meat fishing, but so does uh, a bunch of the other ones we have. Um, but that 10 inch Spin Doctor seems to work really, really well with meat. It's one of the favorites on Lake Michigan, um, and I think it's becoming one of the favorites on Lake Ontario for fishing deeper down 50, 60, 70, 80, down to 100 down uh, with a meat rig. Last year, uh, Pro Troll gave me a sample of one of their new blades called the Fish and Chips. It was this exact one right here, and uh, I fell in absolute love with it. The past couple of seasons, I hadn't done real well on the big fish blades, the big 12 and 13 inch ones. This one here is an 11 inch one, but the unique part about the Fish and Chips blade is it has a kicker fin on the back, just like the, the Pro Chip 8 inch flasher and I killed more 20 pound kings on this one flasher with a meat rig behind it last year than I did on any other bait, or actually probably on all the baits together. Um, we caught a pile of big fish on this blade last year. We ended up getting our hands on a white glow one as well and did really, really well on it. Um, I'm in love with this thing. This is a great bait for a low diver. Also a really, really good bait for a deep copper. Um, this this uh, Pro Troll Fish and Chips seems like it's kind of an in-betweener. It's not that real, real big fish blade, but yet it's got you know more of the size of the 10-inch Spin Doctor with the uh, with the unique shape, you know, the fish shape. So if you don't have any of these Fish and Chips, get some right away. This is going to be a killer for this year. I guarantee it. If there's some kings around um, and you're going to fish meat a little bit, you're going to want to have a few of these in the different colors of the Fish and Chip blades. And then finishing it off is kind of the old staple for fish and meat, which is the uh, the big 
big fish blade, whether it's a, a Oki Kingfisher or a John King um, or a Big Weenie, uh, all of which are very good. Uh, I prefer to use these big fish blades deep, usually on my deepest couple of rods, down 80, 100, 120 even. Um, that's when these really seem to do well. They seem to need a lot of room down there to move around and spin. Uh, you don't want to fish these up high, generally speaking, and you don't want to fish them, uh, you know, uh, up in the, uh, uh, you know, it, up above 80 foot. I would say you want these blades down deep for the meat rig. Um, a lot of people ask me like leader links behind. I don't get too picky. I haven't found a major difference. You know, some guys like them six, seven feet. Some guys like them four or five feet. I generally use what comes out of the package uh, and have had pretty good success with that. I've played around with it um, and haven't found a big difference. So let's talk about the meat rigs a little bit. We stocked four different brands in the store. I didn't grab one of them. One of them is the Dreamweaver meat rigs. Uh, we stocked the uh, Michigan Stinger uh, meat rigs. We stock the Diabolical meat rigs, and we stock the Atomic meat rigs, which are new this year. All three sell pretty well in the store. It's, it's personal preference. Um, they're a little different in the sense that the um, Atomic and the Stinger have more of a fly-like material uh, for teasers, where the um, Diabolical has a little different material. All of them are pretty sharp looking. Uh, the Atomic comes with, I believe, a VMC hook. I'm not positive. If I'm wrong on that, I apologize. Um, but all of them come with quality components ready to go out of the package. A bead chain that you can hook onto the back of the flasher. So you're totally ready to go. You don't need to buy anything else. Uh, you don't need to cut up the line and change it or anything like that. Um, they're totally ready to go out of the package. The other thing that we sell quite well here at the store is the Rapture Teaser Rigs. And uh, this is just a three pack of the teaser flies that we sell very well here at the store for the guys that want to rig their own, uh, that buy heads and they want to rig their own meat rigs because they like a certain length or they like certain color combinations that aren't available on the market. We have lots of these Rapture teaser rigs. I think we have the biggest selection uh, of any tackle store for Rapture trolling flies of their teaser rigs because we do sell quite a few of them um, both online and in the store. In the store we, we offer the Dreamweaver Ballyhoo meat um, we also have the whole herring. Um, the Ballyhoo is the best seller for us because of the durability of it. It doesn't have quite the shine um, and scale look that the herring does, but when the water gets warm, which it does on Lake Michigan and on Lake Ontario, uh, the Ballyhoo holds up in that warmer water a little better. You can put it down there for an hour, hour and a half, two hours in 60 degree water and have confidence that it's still pretty firm and spinning correctly. It's not soft and mushy and all broken apart. And that's without brining it or doing anything to it, just fishing it right out of the package. Um, so we have those Dreamweaver Ballyhoo uh, strips in stock. Those are strips that you can stick right in the head, put a toothpick through and go fishing. We also have the whole bait in stock if the guy wants to fillet his own and get a certain size. So again, understand that meat fishing is not complicated. It's a pretty simple deal. Pretend they're flashers and flies. You, you just uh, got a little bit different components. But when the fishing gets tough, you're definitely going to want to get some meat uh, put together. What I'm going to do on our website, www.anglersavenueproshop.com, is I'm going to put together a couple starter packs of, of some combinations of, of meat rigs with uh, flashers. There'll probably be like three, four different starter pack, packs offered with uh, three, four different uh, um, meat rig combos in there. So, you know, it'll be a hundred, hundred and some dollar uh, package but it'll be a great starter pack for a guy who doesn't have any or is looking to get into meat fishing or has only a few and wants to add to his arsenal I'll have probably three or four flashers with meat rigs ready to go um, all you gotta do is hook them on and, and go fishing so visit our website at www.anglersavenueproshop.com or otherwise call me at 920-395-2079 if you have any questions good luck fishing